the the voice part of it is end of the day nothing compared to the value that you're bringing to the table whenever you do that interview or make that presentation or whatever scenario you're in people aren't thinking about that especially if you're knocking their socks off with the content you're bringing their way yeah the sound of your voice is nothing anymore it basically just looks like the matrix at that point where you got the zeros and the ones and everything's green and everybody yeah. is zeroed into what you have to say the sound of your voice be damned they are listening to the content that you're delivering because they know you've got a valuable message that if they listen to it and they absorb it they're going to be able to make some transformations in their life and that could make all the difference yeah, I 100% agree. And this goes back to the conversation we had in the beginning of this episode about sports and failure and learning. We get to go through those uncomfortable moments. We get to listen to our voice and say, oh, you know what? That actually didn't sound the way that I wanted it to. If you're not willing to listen to it and figure out how to adjust so you can have the impact that you want voice-wise, you don't get better. You just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Yep. I look back, I mean, what, 230 episodes in, my first, second, third, 50th episode, like it gets better every single time yes. because I'm willing to take the feedback from myself and others. I love it when people reach out to me and they say, hey, Amber, like this episode was really amazing until this point. I, I didn't know what you guys were talking about because to me, I knew the conversation and I forgot that there are people listening who don't have the same knowledge that the people that were in this conversation that you and I have. Right. So then I get to step back and say, oh, wait a minute. How can I make sure I don't do that again? 